the era of the Wild West in social media is coming to an end. So says the vice chairman of the Senate Intelligence Committee, telling the bosses of Facebook and Twitter that government regulation is coming. And I'm skeptical that ultimately you'll be able to truly address this challenge on your own. I believe Congress is going to have to act. I think the Both Sheryl Sandberg of Facebook combined. and Jack Dorsey of Twitter began their testimonies with sober assessments of their That's own operations leading up to the hacking of the U.S. elections two years ago. We found ourselves unprepared and ill-equipped for the immensity of the problems that we've acknowledged. Notably missing was the chief executive of Google's parent company Alphabet, Larry Page, who declined the committee's invitation to testify. I'm deeply disappointed that Google, one of the most influential digital platforms in the world, chose not to send its own top corporate leadership to engage this committee. The tone toward the tech execs who did appear was more positive. Senators praised Facebook's efforts last month to remove more than 600 accounts linked to fake users based in Iran and Russia. Facebook said it has hired more than 20,000 content monitors who speak 50 languages. Let me be clear. We are more determined than our opponents and we will keep fighting. When bad actors try to use our site, we will block them. When content violates our policies, we will take it down. And when our opponents use new techniques, we will share them so we can strengthen our collective efforts. The tech giants say they'll work with government to develop regulations, but it remains to be seen when new rules would be coming. The U.S. intelligence community, including the FBI and the CIA, say what is clear is that the integrity of the U.S. elections in the upcoming midterms in November is under attack. And the giants of social media and government are being challenged to move swiftly in response. Heidi Jo Castro, Al Jazeera, Washington.